today we're doing lesson 4.13, order multi-digit numbers. So we've completed the math warm-up already, and now we're on 13.1, ways to compare. Tyler compares large numbers by looking at the first <laughs> digit from the left. <coughs> he says, the greater the first digit, the greater the number. If the first digit is the same, then we compare the second digit. In each of these pairs of numbers, is the number with the greater first digit also the greater number? So we're going to try and see if Tyler's strategy is correct. So, we're going to be looking at 9 and 3 here. Which is bigger, 9 or 3? Nine. nine. So is this number with the nine in front bigger than this number with the three in front? Yeah. Yes. yes. So his strat, we're going to write yes beside this one. Yes, his strategy would work on this problem. Okay. On the next one, we've got a seven and a six. Is this number bigger than this number? Yes. 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 So his strategy would work for B also. For C, we have our first number is a 3, and our first number here is a 5. Is this number bigger than this number? No. no. Because, look at that for a second, guys. What's in front of the comma? 320, right? What's in front of this comma? 58. So 320 is definitely bigger than 58, right? So his strategy will not work on this one of just looking at that very first number. Um, on the next one, we have a 5 and a 5. So those are the same. Then we have a 4 and an 8. So it's saying that this number is going to be bigger. Is that true? Yes. Yes. So the strategy would work on this one. But on the next one, we have a 5 and a 5, and an 8 and a 4. Is this number bigger than this one? No. 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 So the strategy does not work on E. And on F, our biggest number is 1. Our biggest number here is 1. Then we have a 4 and a 4 and a 6 and an 8. So that would mean this number is bigger. Is that true? No. No, definitely not. So what have we learned then? Why did his strategy not work? on some of these problems. Emily? Um, because um, on some of them, uh, they had more numbers than the other one. Exactly right. So what's the most important thing when, and you can put yourself down for a mark, Emily. What's the most important thing when you're trying to compare two numbers? The number of digits right so if i'm trying to figure out whether <clears throat> which is bigger um eight or eight hundred thousand of course the one that's got six digits is going to be bigger than the one with only one digit right even though there's they both start with eight Okay, um, so does Tyler's strategy work for comparing any pair of numbers? No, because you have to compare the 
number of digits. And in parentheses, we're going to put when both numbers have the same number of digits. His strategy did work on some of them, but the question is, <clears throat> does Tyler's strategy work for comparing any pair of numbers? <coughs> so, um, uh, it only works when you have the same number of digits in both numbers. Okay, um, I am going to, uh, we're going to go on to the next page, and when we get finished, um, I'll put this back up because I know it's long, okay? So somebody remind me to go back to this page once we're finished. Okay, how would you compare large numbers? Describe your strategy for comparing 54,000 and 587,000. So who would like to share with me what your strategy is for comparing those two numbers? Rylan? Um, first you make count both of the digits. The number of digits. So how many digits are in this one, Rylan? Five. And this one? Six. So which one's bigger? 587,000. Exactly, because it has six digits. Beautiful, okay. All right, so that's a great answer. Um, compare <coughs> the number of digits <coughs> since five hundred eighty seven thousand has it is bigger than 54,000, which only has five digits. Number four, they want us to put these numbers in order from least to greatest. Okay, so they want us to put them in order from least to greatest. Least means what? <coughs> the smallest. The smallest, right? Good, Jackson. Yes, that's what I was looking for. Okay, so we're going to start by putting the smallest and um, here, 
and then the biggest here. Okay. One thing that I would recommend to you guys, especially if this is challenging for you, is for you to underline the numbers in front of the comma. That helps you see them as a whole. So what I mean is, so before the comma here, we have 87, 847, and 84. Is it really easy to, or really simple to see which of those three is the smallest? Yeah. At, when you underline, it helps you be able to see that a little bit better. So, um, what is the smallest of those three numbers, Delena? Yep, just without the and in it. <laughs> 84,381. So we're going to put that on the left on the, as the smallest, 84,381. Okay, and then I'm going to put a check mark above it because it's been used. Okay. And now we know that um, the next number is going to be the next biggest, right? Um, Olivia, what would the next number be? 87,696. Yep, without the N. <laughs> 87,696. And then we're going to check mark it. And then the biggest one up here, of course, is, say it with me, 847,040. I heard some little ands in there. Oh, okay. So make sure you've got that written down. So you start with the smallest, 84,381. And then leave some space in between for our less than symbol. The next one will be 87,696, and then 847,040. And I'm gonna switch the color just so it's a little, stands out a little more. So I know that the first number is smaller or less than the second number, and the second number is smaller or less than the third number. Okay. It's super important that you read the directions clearly because sometimes they have you start with the biggest, sometimes they have you start with the smallest. And that's just trying to see if you're reading the directions carefully. Okay, so on B we have four numbers that we have to put in order. So I want you guys to start by underlining the digits that are in front of the comma. Okay. So again, we're putting these in order from least to greatest. So we have a 63, 630, 63, and 631. Now, just given that information, then we have to, to see which of the 63,000s is the smallest, we have to look at the next digit on those two. So uh, five and then nine, which is the smallest one, um, Caitlin? 63,591. Yes, 63,591. So write that one down and we can check it off because we've got that one. And then, Chevy, what's the next one? Sixty-three thousand nine hundred fifty-one. So leave some room um, between your numbers um, between the first sixty-three thousand and the second, so we can plug in our symbol when we're finished. Um, so now we've gotten rid of the two numbers that started with sixty-three thousand. Which one comes next if we're putting these in order from least to greatest? Kelby? <clears throat> 600. You gotta get those in. There you go. Sorry. Um, 951. Without the and in it. 
951, sorry. That's right, you got it, bud. All right. All right. 630,951. So that means the biggest has to be, say it with me, with me. 631,051. Okay? And then we'll go ahead and plug in our, our symbols here. So that number is smaller than that number. Okay. Um, just a little helpful hint. If you have trouble remembering which is which, it always opens towards the bigger number. And you can also see that this kind of looks like a capital L, and it means less than. Okay. The opposite, greater than. It doesn't have like a, but that's just a helpful hint. So if you know that the one that looks like an L stands for less than, then you know the other one is greater than. Okay. All right. One more page that we're doing together. Video game score. Yes. 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 Okay. New PlayStation oh. controller. Oh no 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 no. Okay. Um, my and her friends had a video game tournament one weekend. Here are the scores at the end of the tournament. Okay. So you see the scores there. And you guys probably kind of do this already. Um, if the person with the most points wins, whose who score would you want to have? Kinley? Priya. Priya's, right? Because that's the biggest number, right? Yeah. So what it tells us to do on number one, it says rank the scores from highest to lowest, who's in first place. So Kinley already told us that Priya is in first place. So we're gonna write a one next to Priya. She's number one. So this one we're kind of putting them in order from greatest or biggest to least, right? Because first place has the highest score. Okay, and let's look at how many people there are. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven people, but Andre doesn't have a number. So we're looking for one through sixth place, really. Okay, so right now I want you guys to underline the digits before the comma on all of these. Okay, so Priya's first place. Ariana, who would be in second place? Yeah. Very good, yes. Claire would be in second place. Okay. And then who would be in third place? Um, Derek? My. Uh-huh. My. My's in third place. Okay. Gentry, who would be in fourth place? Second place is 89, not 80, 90. Oh. So remember, we're going, we're, that's how we were doing on the last two, but we're going from greatest to least. Does that make sense? Okay, so then if we're looking for the highest school, the highest, next highest score, Gentry, which one would be the next highest after my? Karen, uh-huh, that's right. And these names, if you're not familiar with how to say them, just do your best, it's okay. Um, Karen would be next, or Karen. And then um, that leaves us with Noah and Alina. Um, who would be the next highest, Dexter? Noah. Noah. And then who would be in sixth place, Corbin? What's it start with? Alina. Alina, you're right, yes, Alina. So now we know what order they came in, right? Um, 
So we have Priya was in first place with the biggest score, then Claire, then Mai, then Kieran, then Noah, and then Alina came in sixth. Down here it said, oh, and it wants to know who was in first place, so we're going to answer that question with Priya. Priya was in first place. was accidentally deleted. The system glitched, right? And, but everyone there agreed that Andre was in second place. So, they don't know exactly what Andre's score was, but they know that he was in second place, right? So, here's the question. Could Andre's score, if he was in second place, be a six-digit number? Yes. 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 How do you know, Caitlin? Because, um, because Priya, she didn't have like she didn't have one that was. How do you know that Andres could be a six-digit number? Because Priya was still in the hundred thousand. Because Priya's was a six-digit number, right? Okay. Yeah. So, um. Yes, um, his could be a six digit number. Then it says describe what Andre's score could be and give a couple of examples. So if we know that um, this is what it's kind of wanting you to do on this one. It's wanting us to find kind of a range where Andre's could be. So if we know that Priya at first place, her score was, you guys tell me, what was it, 101,012, 12. 12. okay, and then who was in second place, Claire, and what was Claire's score, 98,032, okay, 98,032, so Andre, whose score got deleted, we know that his score would have to be smaller than Priya's, right mm -hmm. but bigger than claire's does that make sense yeah. okay so let's write that down andre's score would be less than priya's And greater than Claire's. Okay, and then it wants us to give a couple of examples. So I'm going to pull a couple of sticks and have you tell me what is a score that Andre could have had. Okay, so number 10, Olivia, what is a score that could have been Andre's? 100,236. 100,236. You guys agree? Yes. yes. Yep, that's right in between those two numbers. So 100,236 could have been his score. Um, and then I'm going to pull one more stick for one more um, example of, uh, so Corbin, number 15, what's another number that could have been Andre's score? 101,000, uh, one. 101, one. That would work because that is smaller than Prius. It's just 11 points less, but that would absolutely work. Okay. All right. Very good, guys. Um, so I have um, an assignment that I'm going to pass out to you in just a second. That is a putting, uh, it's got seven numbers on it. 
that you're gonna put in order from smallest to biggest, okay? And when I hand it to you, you're gonna put your name on top. And I would suggest that before you start writing out the numbers, you rank them, kind of like we did with um, the video game scores. So like you put one next to the smallest, two next to the next smallest, and so on. I also recommend that you guys underline the numbers in front of the comma before you start. Okay? All right. Do we have to? Though?